With all this new technology surfacing in the past few months, I always find it interesting to hear what my fellow tech YouTube content creators think will happen in the next year. This year, I have invited several of my good friends in the tech space to share their thoughts, what their expectations are based on their expertise, and we got some really interesting perspectives. So with that said, y'all take it away. Hey, what's going on, Greg Ellis TV. My tech predictions of 2023 are AR and XR glasses. I think those are going to be coming huge this year, or at least a lot more popular than they are. And some of the most popular tech I actually am very excited about. So AR glasses are augmented reality. They're glasses you can put on. They connect to probably your phone at this point, and you can see things in front of you. So if you're looking at something, it'll show you like, oh, directions are that way, or I got a notification, or that's what that restaurant is. Um, extended reality glasses are like the Enreal Airs, which are connecting to your phone via a USB-C cable. You put those on and you can see your phone screen or your video game console or whatever you have them connected to. That's gonna become a lot bigger and a lot more popular in 2023. I'm super excited about it. And some of the stuff is already active right now. I love it, it's so awesome. Hey snobs, hey you beautiful people. So for my 2023 tech predictions, number one, more foldies. And I'm not just talking about smartphone competition to the Samsung Flip and Fold, although I do feel like we're gonna see a lot more of that in the coming year. I'm also talking about other folding devices, like for example, Asus has already come up with their folding laptop. Number two, more wearables, like for example, in smartwatches, better looking, better performing, better batteries. In wearable earbuds, we're talking about better sound, better functionalities, and even more crazy wearable tech stuff, like for example, smart glasses, like the Ray-Ban Stories, or the TCL Nextwear, or the Unreal, more of that. And number three, another rising social media platform because I feel like people are just clamoring for a new one. Hey, snubs and all you wonderful tech nerds out there. Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy. I'm gonna keep my prediction really short and sweet. I think as we're gonna go through 2023, we're gonna see an ever increasing gap between the tech that we reviewers talk about and the tech that people are really out there using. I mean, we can put together these videos on RTX 4090s and then you go to Steam and the most popular GPU in use is a GTX 1650. I have a dozen phones on my desk that are all incredible high performance pocket computers, but overwhelmingly people are using three to $400 phones. I just feel it's something we need to keep in mind as we make these tech entertainment videos, what the real threshold of technology use really looks like. Thanks so much for letting me jump in and ramble and soapbox for a bit. I hope everyone out there is having a lovely holiday season and that you're safe, warm, well-fed, and spending time with people who care about you. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Kevin the Tech Ninja. Now, for me, tech predictions is pretty tough because we've seen such a dramatic change in tech in the last 20 years. And I say in the last five years, we've taken that technology and have incrementally got it better, but it hasn't been anything that has been game changing in the last few years. Sure, phones have gotten faster, internet has gotten faster, and things have gotten better. I think for me, what I'm seeing constantly, people's usage of technology changes, where instead of having a family computer, now individuals have a phone. And with this phone, you can do so much more. And many people are just using their phone as a singular device in their house. Samsung has been on the cutting edge of this and they've been extremely aware, giving you an option called DeX, which will turn your phone into a computer. You just plug it into a monitor or plug it into a computer and you have everything you need in one spot. I think Apple is trying this with an iPad in their What's a Computer campaign many years ago. Hopefully in 2023, we continue to see this trend as far as giving you one device that can be everything. I'm interested to see how 2023 looks. Back to you. Hey there, it's Miriam coming to you live from somewhere in Arizona. I have some predictions about 2023 and they're all pretty much around smartphones, which is kind of like what I'm really excited about. The first thing is I think we're gonna see another big leap forward in terms of imaging and cameras, specifically around large sensors, uh, both physically large, but also large pixel counts, like 200 megapixels, and then the chipsets to process the data for these uh, for better computational photography, things like the new Snapdragon and MediaTek chips. So that I think is gonna bring some improvements in the photos and videos we take this year. Uh, we're also going to see hopefully some improvements in 5G because so far it really hasn't delivered the goods. And uh, of course lots of AI everywhere. 
And I also want to give a kind of a kudos to the potential that EVs are bringing to the table. We're going to see a lot more electric vehicles, uh, more choices. So that's my predictions for 2023. Adam here from Tech Odyssey. My predictions for 2023 on the tech side, I think we're gonna see more boundary pushing on the AI and machine learning front. It's been something that's been kind of a catchphrase the last couple of years, but really we're starting to see a lot of traction, especially with these latest generation processors, the new MediaTek 9200, the Dimensity, the Snapdragon 8 Generation 2, the Tensor G2, really a lot of companies have been doubling down and that's been showing up a lot when it comes to software and smart features in phones, the image signaling processor and getting better quality video focusing, better low light photography and stuff like that. So that's something I think is gonna be big and a differentiator when it comes to your phones and your smartphone cameras. I think 5G is gonna to continue to get deployed into more things because 5G everywhere, right? And then also the push for Wi-Fi 7 is also now here with the latest generation processor supporting those as well. Also ray tracing technology, pretty neat stuff going into 2023. What's up snubs? So my tech predictions for 2023 are gonna be further improvements in our wireless high res audio that's being rolled out right now. So. I don't know if that's gonna come from somebody like Apple. There've been a lot of rumors for the past year or two about them coming out with their own hi-fi wireless codec. So we'll see if they do that. But we did have a recent release from Qualcomm called Aptex Lossless. So I'm looking forward to that rolling out to more devices because right now it's only supported on like two or three devices. So hopefully we'll be seeing more improvements to that because we wanna have improved spatial audio. We wanna have improved wireless audio for all of our headphones and earbuds. That's what I'm personally looking forward to. Hopefully they make it happen, but We'll have to wait and see. What's up, people? Viper here, and Shannon has invited me back to give you some of my tech predictions for 2023. So what your boy Viper is looking at next year is EV, electric vehicles. We all know that Tesla is the leader in the clubhouse with the best supercharger network out there, but you got other brands like Lucid, Rivian, Ford, Chevy, all throwing their hat into the EV ring. But I got questions. I got questions about the battery. I got questions about EVs and cold weather. I have questions about the longevity of electric vehicles, but we're gonna see a lot of advancement on that front in 2023. So that is where my attention will be. I am definitely seeing some trends from my friends, and there are a lot of topics that I want to predict for 2023. More contactless payments, social platform shopping, and ad-supported streaming are three trends that I think are going to grow a lot more next year from a business perspective. Metaverse is going to become a household name. I feel like it already kind of is starting to become a household name, with big companies putting a lot of stake into the future of the internet in virtual reality. Does anybody else find it kind of weird that Metaverse is being used as the name? I know it comes from Snow Crash, but like given Facebook kind of has that name, it just feels kind of weird that we're using Metaverse to describe virtual reality now. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Pass keys will start getting some headway with major brands adopting this much more secure alternative to passwords, and I am here for it. I can't wait for pass keys to become a thing. But the one I really want to dive deeper into is AI. If you've been on any social media, you have probably seen people using AI to generate profile pictures of themselves, and they look super pretty. I mean, they're cool, sure. I agree, but I am one to pay artists to create avatars of my like anime weeb self instead of using AI that has trained on art that it's found online. I don't know, I prefer giving artists money. Given the recent trend of this fairly new technology and the legalities and ethics behind it, for example, some of the platforms own your likeness whenever you use it and upload your images, or they use your images to train their artificial intelligence, and they don't give you any money for that. They're just using your likeness for free. I think that we are going to start seeing some serious debates in politics, maybe even in the courts over rights of ownership when it comes to AI and copyright. So what do you think is going to happen in the world of tech next year? Huge, huge thank you to all of my friends that joined the video this year. I love being able to use my platform to boost voices of creators like myself. So each of their channels are, my dog just made a noise. So each of their channels are linked down below. Subscribe and fill your feed with these brilliant minds. Happy 2023. I will be back soon with CES coverage the very first week of January. Thank you so much for watching. Bye y'all. Come on, come on. Oh, there she is. Do you see the dog? Oh, there's my doggie. Hi. Yes, good girl. <laughs>